cool stuff. Well, it's time to get back to Iwakrama. I'm going to trade in this expensive airplane for a cheap pair of walking shoes and find some more of those giants of Guyana. Are we there yet? Almost untouched, Guyana's rainforest is one of the best kept secrets in South America. In fact, part of the reason some of Guyana's animals are so big and sized is because they haven't fallen prey to hunters or to the loss of habitat. Ah, uh, look at this. This great old emergent, this mora tree, climbing up to the canopy, and look at this. This is nice to see. This okay is not bark this is what is left of a termite mound it's been totally excavated it's been totally dug out and look at this whatever dug this was huge digging in here and reaching up there's something in here there's something in here oh my god what is it <laughs> a toad look at that look at the size of this creature a toad covered with termites, but a toad nonetheless. This is Bufo marinus. And what is really cool about these toads is that they are the largest toads in the world. Now, you can find Bufo marinus living throughout Central and South America. But here in Guyana, you get behemoths. You get giants. Now, if you saw the normal Bufo marinus toad, you'd be like, man, that's a big toad. That's a handful. But this creature, this creature weighs two pounds. And look at its length from the tip of its muzzle to the tip of its vent, its cloaca, this creature is probably eight or nine inches in length. Total length, from the toes to the nose, you're talking about 14 inches. It is a huge toad. This creature can swallow an opossum this big, okay? It can eat something like a mouse opossum or even a bird in just two gulps. It will grab on and sort of gag and then take its little hands and sort of feed it into its mouth. So it will feed its own mouth, but I would never feed my mouth with this toad because even though it can't scratch, it can't bite me to do any damage, it is deadly. These are called parotid glands and they manufacture poison called bufotoxin. And it can be deadly to animals, especially with this species. If you eat this guy, you could die. If you survive, you've learned your lesson and you'll leave this species alone. First defense, camouflage. Second defense, is the poison which is locked up in these glands an extraordinary giant a toad as a species found throughout the neotropics but when you get him this big you only find him here in guyana great critter all right i'm going to release this creature back into this wonderful discovery this excavated area and we'll continue our search Well, so far we've seen a giant turtle, a giant waterfall, a giant frog, and some giant potholes. Now, let's see what other cool surprises Guyana has to offer. Oh, look at this. Look at what we have here, yeah? Big pile of rocks, big pile of rocks with a surprising clump of lush vegetation around it. And it is ideal habitat for lizards, for scorpions, and for snakes. And there's one snake I would love to find here. It's called a blacktail. It's like an indigo snake. And I believe you can find them in Guyana, in a place like this. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so it's not the black tail snake I was looking for, but its tail makes it a very interesting serpent. And it's a tail with a pile of skin in the end, which means a rattlesnake. Very venomous snake. So I'm going to move very cautiously. Very cautiously. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful snake. This snake is a neotropical rattlesnake. 
Now, there's some interesting differences between this rattlesnake, the one you find in Central and South America, and its North American counterparts, its cousins living up everywhere from Massachusetts all the way west to California. What you should notice, if you look halfway down his back, you will see a little diamond back pattern. But look at the front, one third of the snake. From the head to one third, stripes. Two thirds the way down, diamonds, which deviate at a tiny rattle. And that is what makes these animals so special to me. To be a rattlesnake, to be an individual serpent, but with two unique patterns on one body. A lovely discovery. Now, as with all the rattlers, it is venomous. And the venom on this species, the Dorissus, is pretty potent. But it is a venom designed to immobilize its prey and to break down the tissue. The secret is, is to respect this rattler and it will respect you. So, I'm going to place this creature back into these rocks and see what else there is to be discovered here in beautiful Guyana. <laughs> We're still moving south, now on the Rupununi River. And this stretch of water is home to another of Guyana's giants. Look at that. That's what's so amazing about Guyana. Not only are the animals huge, but the plants are as well. Largest lily pads in the world you find right here in Guyana. Well, this is the spot. I traveled all the way up the Rupununi River to this little place called Karanambu. Very special place. That's the person I'm looking for. You're a great old dame sitting there in bank. Hi, Diane. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is Diane McTurk. She's proprietor of Karanambu, right? This little ranch, this little place where you can come stay and appreciate the rainforest. She's also keeper of some very special creatures, which happen to be one of the largest and rarest mammals you'll find here in South America. Well, Dan, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Fine. So uh, are you ready for a great adventure? Absolutely. You Can't wait. ready to take us out and show us your, your Let me get you in. cheeky <laughs> little creatures? I would love to. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. Yep. Head up a little adventure. My creatures. Flute, do flute, do flute, do flute, do flute, do flute, do flute, Honey, 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 honey. Right now, Deanne is trying to draw out these animals. Come, honey, come, Pluto, come, Zhivago, come, Anya. Come, those horrible creatures. Oh my gosh, they've set me up with a mad woman. Don't worry, we'll regulate your medication and life will be as right <laughs> as rain again. Thank you. Come, honey, 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 honey. Come, fish, fish, fish. Do they ever sound like that? Do you ever make that sound? That... Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing with you, Dion. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> Come, honey bunch. Come, Pluto. Come, Persephone. Come, Zhivago. Come, Anya. Fish, fish, fish. See oh. anything? No. Nothing. Come, honey, 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 honey. Why don't you try your call? All right. The water dogs are there. Oh, God. okay. Let's, Let's go, go to the river. All right. Pluto, 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 Pluto. Pluto. Come, honey, 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 honey. I'm beginning to sound desperate. Come, those creatures. Come, my horrid beasts. Come, Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. if we hear any sounds. 
Well, we've been out here all day. Sun's setting, Deanne. We don't have any orders. We spent a lot of money, my dear, to come out to this river. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, but getting a little tart. So this is our last chance to call these otters, our last spot. That's right. Okay. Should we try? All right. You can do your call? I'll do my call. Okay, first. let's go to the bank. Can okay. we go in the bank? Let's go up in the okay. bank. Okay. Honey, 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 honey. Come, my plute and my hun, and Jibago and Anya. Come, fish, fish, fish. Delicious fish. Can you see them? Is something moving out there? Yes. Come, Pluto, 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 Pluto. <laughs> oh, here comes something. Here comes somebody. Look at this. Finally, an otter. Who is this? Sure to be Persephone. She's always the first. Come, Steph. But bring your friends. Oh, Come friends! Pluto. Come, Pluto and Persephone. So which one is Pluto? I think Pluto is sure to be the one that's coming last. Now, Deanne knows these animals, and she works with them on a regular basis. But keep in mind, these creatures are wild animals with a powerful bite. So they need lots of respect and lots of space. Very excited about oh this because heart. we've got otters. Look at this. Come on. Look heart. at this Come giant on. river otter. Who is this? This is Persephone. Now, Come now they live wild, right? But yes. you, But now, what's the reason for giving them fish? That is because I love them and I want to see them. Okay. <laughs> but they're they're sort of you know you're you're sort of part of the pod, right? Part of the group. <laughs> right. They have been. I have read them from um, babies. Come, Jibby, and bring food. Come, Jibby. This Who is, is this? Oh, there he goes, a little piranha. <laughs> What's amazing is that um, these otters are wild creatures. They're living out in this river. They're exploring this river. This is their habitat. And what's interesting about this particular group, this particular pod or holt, okay, is that um, two of them are individuals that she physically raised. They were orphaned. They came into her care. She mastered the art of raising otters. Uh, figured out how to get them in the wild, keep them in the wild, and then truly wild otters, untouched otters, have come in and have joined this group. And here comes another one. They are considered to be the most endangered mammal in the neotropics, critically close to extinction. Next to you, sweet Who is this? This person. This is again Persephone. Look at the size of this creature. Look at the size of this animal. Now she's young. Isn't she's a couple of years old, maybe? Yes. The largest of the world's otters, out of the, I think it's around 13 or maybe 15 species, this one, the giant river otter of South America, is the largest, pushing lengths of six feet and weights of 70 pounds or more. They can actually weigh more than 70 pounds, can't they? I'm sure they can, yeah, yes, I, I, because I've seen one actually that was probably, well, certainly seven feet tail to tip to tail, because really? the body was about five. Well, Dion, it looks like that sun is setting, which means we're losing light. Otters are smart. They're back in the holt. Uh -huh. But I think perhaps we should maybe head back before we're out wandering up this river uh, without the sun, without a paddle. At least we got our otters. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay. Our goal is to get deeper into the jungle, and to do that, we will follow the Rupununi River. This is my favorite time to explore a rainforest because it is at night when everything wakes up. 